Let's understand the difference between a single one primitive object, two primitives which are linked to form a single object, and these two blue guys, blue guys rather, which are not linked but can be taken at the same time, resulting in what we call a coalesced, a combined object. Hands-on demonstration. So with this red fella, right-click and edit, and we'll see. Selected objects one, primitives one, and his name is red. So right-click and take. And now let's check our inventory. All right, we can see we've taken the red one. Now, click right here, and I'll zoom closer. Notice that, that both of them are selected because it's one object consisting of two primitives which have been linked. So like the red guy, we can take these fellas and then they'll end up in inventory as green. Now with these blue ones, I can click on one but it doesn't select the other. Blue one and blue two. Hmm. So if I click blue one, hold shift and then click blue two, both of them are selected. They don't have a single name, so I can, oh, and it shows selected objects two, primitives two, indicating they're different. Then we can right click and take them. And the name shown in inventory will be the last one you selected. So in this case, it was blue two. And notice the coalesced object has a different icon than the others. Some have likened it to uh, a broken Rubik's cube. So that's the difference. Do note that while coalesced objects can be very handy for taking multiple unlinked objects, such as a house and all its furniture inside, without having to link them, they do have substantial caveats. So be sure to see our knowledge base for more information on what those are so you can better understand and use them to move objects to your benefit. <laughs>